Hello, this is going to be a really quick video on how to put the magnets back into your Dian Tang In Mega Minx if they fell out or they got dislodged. Uh, basically, these magnets are just held in with a little bit of super glue. So let's say uh, they get rattled around or they didn't apply too much glue into it. The magnets can just come off, which is why they would end up rattling inside of the pieces. So the first thing that you need to do is actually find out which of the pieces have that dislodged magnet. Now you can usually do this by turning the cube uh, a few times and then listening uh, where you would hear some rattling coming from the puzzle. And usually you can identify one piece where that rattling is very, very apparent. And what you can do is you can take out that piece and then split it open like I've done here. So basically these edges, they will just split in two. You can use some kind of uh, knife or a plastic stick eraser, the latter being preferred so you don't scratch up your plastic. And then once you split it open in half, you should see the magnets in there. Now, if it's one of the corners, you can also split open at the seams right here. Now this one's a little bit tougher, so I'm going to be using a knife, but again, plastic stick erasers are preferred because they will not scratch your plastic. So here I split it open like that, and then we can just take apart these thirds. And then here you can see the magnets inside. So let's say you find a piece that's missing the magnet, um, or it's just rattling inside of the puzzle uh, after you've split the piece. Now we gotta need to put the magnets back into the puzzle. And all you're really gonna need is some kind of super glue. Any type of super glue will work for this, um, but what you need other than that is if you're working on an edge, a corner piece that isn't affected by a loose magnet, and if you're working with a corner, an edge piece that isn't affected. Because we're gonna use those pieces to help make sure the polarity is correct for the magnet that you're installing and that it's positioned properly. So let's say that your edge piece magnet came out. We're gonna need a corner for this. So this one is already in place. You see that little magnet inside of the slot. This one has no magnet inside of the slot. It's also a little bit damaged, but that's another story. So we're gonna need to put the magnet into this slot right here. In order to do that properly, we're going to use the unaffected corner and we're going to put the half edge piece against that unaffected corner and try to line it up as best as we can as if it were sitting in the puzzle, like this. We are then going to take our super glue. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this off the piece so we don't get accidentally get glue on the corner. We're going to take our super glue. And we're just going to put a small drop inside of the slot like that. Now we can take our corner, put it up against that piece, and we're going to hold it firmly in place like that. We're then going to grab one of our magnets that fell out. And these guys are very, very small, so we want to make sure that we don't lose them. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy here on this metal part of this tripod so I don't lose it. Okay, so we're going to take those two pieces, again, positioning them a little properly, like that, and we're just going to drop the magnet into place. You see how it attracts to the magnet on the corner piece, so that means that that's the correct polarity. Now we wanna make sure that it's also seated properly inside of there. So make sure that you're lining it up properly. If you want, you can also push down on the magnet a little bit to make sure that it's properly seated inside of the slot. And after that's done, you wanna compare it to like the height and depth of another piece that's not affected. So that looks about good right there. We're just gonna let the super glue dry and then you can put the piece back together and then install it back into your puzzle. Now let's say you have a corner that is affected by a loose magnet. We're gonna need an unaffected edge piece. We're then going to take our corner third. In this case, here you'll see the missing magnet in this slot compared to ones with magnets in the proper slots. 
we're going to go ahead and put this up against the edge piece as if it were sitting properly onto the in the cube so we want to make sure that it's the slot piece so here we want to right about there and if you're not sure whether you should you know hold it like here or like here or whatever what you can do is you can just drop a magnet onto the edge see about where it needs to go and then make sure that it kind of lines up so again it's the same process we're going to take a little bit of super glue we're going to put it in that slot this time the slot is really really big so we're going to put it on the wall of the corner piece here just make sure that we have a decent amount of glue in there like that we're now going to hold up our piece against the edge piece and this is a little bit trickier because this guy will move around a bunch so if you want you can use some tape to kind of hold everything in place while you do this we're going to take our magnet and we're just going to drop it into the slot like that again that should help Make sure that the polarity is correct. We want to make sure that the pieces are lined up properly. So when we put the corner back together, it will sit properly in place. And once that's left to dry, we want to compare it to the rest of the magnets. See, this one looks a little, needs to be a little bit deeper. So I'm just going to use my fingernail to kind of push that in a little bit deeper into the puzzle. And then compare it. And yeah, that looks about right now. And then if you want, you can use like a toothpick or something non-magnetic. I'm going to use... Damn. Got a few of these floss picks here. I'm just going to make sure that it's well pressed up against the wall of the piece. Like that. See, that kind of lifted up a little bit. Oh no, it's just a, a super glue shining back. And we're gonna let that dry completely. And once that's dry, all we're gonna do is press that up against the other pieces. So here we have these uh, little fins that kind of intercombine with each other. And we just wanna make sure that we're not forcing anything and that those will sit properly inside of the piece. And we're just gonna press it back together like that. And then that's how you would fix that. So here, now we're just going to verify that that magnet, I think it was from the green one, is attracting properly onto the piece. It is. And then let's say on the edge piece, we just want to make sure that magnet is properly attracting onto the corner. And it is. So that means that the magnets are the correct polarity, they're in the correct location, and they're not sitting funky on the, uh, on the pieces themselves. Hope that helps.